That house is burning up. This is getting creepier and creepier. Imagine being here in fucking night. I wonder if this middle part is the part where the kids meet up and fight. They either meet up here and drink as friends, or this is where they have their punch-ons. You can't say this isn't f***ing hood. I'm Spanian. I was raised in the housing areas of Sydney City. Spent most of my youth and adult life in prison. And after a total of 13 years, I'm free and I'm out and about flying around, sussing out the hoods all over the world. It's O.G. Alright, welcome to Amsterdam. We're going into the hood. There's a place here in Amsterdam. It's called Bilma. This is the most dangerous part of Amsterdam. Amsterdam's highest crime rate. It's Amsterdam's hood. Amsterdam's ghetto. A lot of people don't associate a place like the Netherlands or any Northern European place as having hoods because they're clean places. But you gotta understand one thing. Everyone needs to get over the dirty house Olympics or whatever you wanna call it. Where you judge a book by if they have trees or you see somewhere and go, they've got grass, that's not a hood. It's not that simple, mate. You'd be surprised that every city in the world has a hood side to it, you know what I mean? Including Amsterdam. And I've seen pictures of this place, big projects, crammed together, Lego land style housing, and it has a bad reputation. You know what, I love episodes like this. I love episodes where it's not about just going and filming dirty places, or it's not about just going and filming drug addicts on the street. I love showing and I love seeing for myself that even the nicest place has this side that no one ever sees. You never associate it. Anyway, we're here at Central Station, Amsterdam Central. We're getting off at a train station called, <laughs> I'm gonna say this wrong again, Gasper Plus. <laughs> One ticket to Gasper Plus, please. Please be English. Yes, there is English. You can now check in and out with con- Mate, I didn't say that. English, brother. One hour travel, one day travel. Valid from one hour from first check-in. Whatever, bro. One hour travel. One ticket. Alright, you don't have to type in specifically where you're going or what you're doing or who, what, when, where, how, why. It's just a time limit. Hello, mate. I need to go to a place called Gasper Plus. I don't know if it's in the middle. Metro. I bought a ticket. Yeah, that's good. All right. So we're going down here. Turn on right here. That way is the metro. I wasn't far off in pronunciation anyway. I was saying Gasper Plus, and he was saying Gasper Plus. Here we are. Same fifty-three. So it's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13 stops. It's, the, it's actually the end of the line, did you see that? So this place that we're getting off at, Gasper Plus, is, is the end of that line. I made it easier because then the, the train line is named after that station. You see it's the Gasper Plus station. We're going to the proverbial end of the line. It's Oge. Free in Gasper Plus. Oh, the train smells like full farts hard, like the old train. Oh. Alright, bro, 13 stops. And Jeep. We can get bulldogs on the train and that, lad. <laughs> but you know what I think? I think it's um Subway the Art. <laughs> Do you see that? That was almost comical. <laughs> I was in the middle of saying I think it's the subway the whole way and the second I said that, boom, we're out of the subway. What's going on there in huh? Show me the light. I'm 
All right, we're here now, Gospel Plus. Almost completely emptied at the last stop. Uh, however you say that one, Krynest. A bit of Gansenhof and Krynest and Gospel Plus. That's the direction we're walking. We will end up at Gansenhof. So, pretty much, how do we get out? You gotta press it in Europe, but don't just open it for you. All right, here we are, Gasper Plus. It's pretty much the hood here is contained between this station and two stations before us. So we've got off right at the end and we're pretty much gonna walk our way up through there. I'll tell you one thing. I can tell you straight off the bat already, just being here, look, it's not gonna be dirty. It's the Netherlands, all right? But let me say this. Did you see the amount? You seen those buildings we went through? They are low income. They are public housing, stuck together Legoland housing, right? There was so much. Although they did not look dirty, they did not look trapped out. The fucking amount of them, I don't think I've seen that many. Including when I went to Scampia in Naples, there was not that many massive towers, bro. There were hundreds of massive towers. It's like like Queens or Brooklyn or something. It's just all towers. That shocked me actually already. That is the most secure fence I have ever seen in my life. That looks like it's from the Vietnam War. What the? F bro, look at that contraption. Surely that's not to keep people not buying a ticket. Fuck me dead. Considering how full that train is, this is eerie. Look at it, it started here already, straight off the train. You know what I noticed? Like this public housing look in um, the Netherlands and in Sweden and stuff. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like Ikea. I don't know if I'm spinning out, but it's like Ikea <laughs> buildings stuck together. Like the, all the cheap stuff at Ikea. <laughs> a good comparison these housing blocks i feel like has the the vibe and the feel and the appearance of hospital wards that's a pretty sad feeling bro <laughs> you know what i mean like all right if you're in the hood you're in the hood and if your place is dirty your place is dirty but when your place is like sterile hospital plain sterile hospital <laughs> that's a different that's a that's a different kind of sadness See that plane there? Hey, this is a pretty unrelated fact, but pretty significant. So here is right under these suburbs here, Bilma, here and that next one that we're gonna walk up to and whatever these sub suburbs are. I don't have specific building details, but we're under the flight path from where the planes take off at Amsterdam Schiphol's airport. So they take off and they fly immediately over us during the 80s, was it during the mid-1980s, a big massive commercial airliner took off, failed after takeoff and smashed right into one of the biggest buildings, uh, killing like everyone, killed like 46 people inside the building, the big project, smashed straight into the side of it. Horrific tragedy, yeah. Um, that was in Bilma, because all of these are built like straight after, that's why you heard the airline, so they here, they're right underneath the takeoff zone there's just so many like we're not going to be able to go in and out of all of them 
see even if you went in here it all goes down in there goes in there all goes down in there it's all up there look at that little car bro what <laughs> that's hectic mario kart look at their roads though wait this looks like our backs onto a forest we are legitimately on the the ass end of, of Amsterdam. No wonder they, it, we are too. This is pretty much the end. After here is all just forest. <laughs> Typical. Just stick one million low budget crammed up units together, built like the cheap section of Ikea and stick it on the end of the forest. I just then just became nervous for the first time because I just got the sense of like, look, it's dead quiet. Bro, there's not even a, a noise or a person or a light in any of these windows on any of these balconies. We're in the middle of nowhere on the edge of the forest. I've seen two humans Oh, look at these cats in a cage. Look at that. Zoom in on that, editor. That's slack, bro. Look how cold it is. It's literally like one degrees or something right now, and they've got their cats outside in a cage. Come on, bro. Let them in the house, their cats. There's a, there's a person. I feel like I'm in um, Resident Evil. The only thing you can hear is aeroplanes. This is getting creepier and creepier. Imagine being here in fucking night. Mate, I'll come here and do ghost hunts. I just walk through the middle of so many projects. Let's be real. How many different apartments you walk, we walk through then? At least, you'd have to say at least 200 to 300 different apartments in close quarters and we did not hear a sound. Look, I'm gonna walk up this way and we're gonna walk. So we've got off here and we've walked left. Now I'm gonna walk up into this more, or well, worse part, up to that crying nest area. And then we're getting into the middle when we get up here on Bill Mabu Oost. Bill Ma Oost. We're getting into the middle of the middle of what we come for. This seems like a thoroughfare. Right down the middle of all driveways like that. Leading to sets of projects like we just walked through. gonna film them but there's kids playing there seems like it's a kindergarten or something so they're given like block G block E block F and they're named like that like most housing areas around the world Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm uh, English. No. What's that? Hello. Okay, good. Parking? No, no, thank you. He was trying to sell me tickets. When I was walking through there, I thought there was blokes rapping. He had the stance he was like rapping. Well, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm being racist because they were both black. And so they just had that opinion. But plus he was standing there like that and that, you know? I thought he was rapping, but I got close and he was just talking real enthusiastically. <laughs> I thought he was standing there rapping with his mate. All right, right at this point, we're crossing from Gaspar Ma, Black Gaspar Blams, whatever it's called, to Bilma. 
here into here and all through there where them towers are he's built my brother let me just say this straight off the bat look at this house down there it's like a perfect square it looks like a childcare center it's a house this is legit lego land we're walking into look at this i wonder if this middle part is the part where the kids meet up and fight gasper plus versus bilma the dividing park eh? Hey? they either meet up here and drink as friends or this is where they have their punch-ons This is hood. This is hood. I don't give a fuck what you say. I've been to some bad places doing this. This ain't my first episode. And although this isn't a dangerous place, you can't say this isn't a fucking hood. Look at their, look at their doors, man. Sets and sets of generic small block housing. They always have that in every hood, hey. Where they got the big towers, they always have surrounding the big towers the blocks and blocks of these smaller ones. That house is burning out. That's burnt out. That's been set on fire, look. That's an abandoned house. What is this? Oh, I see. They were poorly designed. Look, the original design is a concrete pylon in the middle with a T-shape at the top that supports these heavy blocks. And they've probably become dangerous and started collapsing like poor design. So they've gone to every single one and supported them with metal beams. Look. This is definitely a level worse than Gastoplast. <laughs> I'm probably botching that name. Butching that name. Something shocking, just like I butched the word butch and called it botch. This is definitely another level of hood from the last place. Seems, so we are coming up this way to the the middle part of Bilma. Still a while away, but it's this direction. I'm loving the quirky architecture, the quirky Scandinavian budget architecture. How it's like they switched it up, <laughs> but it's all like really brutalistic, but in an Ikea way, <laughs> Ikea brutalism. <laughs> Seen a lame walk down it. Alright. You can see crossing from there into all of these blocks they've changed flavor it's like a different different part of a theme park you know they've, they've changed design it's all dark brick i can see them doing kickboxing under here you know watch out bro i'm taking a risk going um filming under here the bloke holding the pads looks look, looks like Ernesto Hoost. He's no, no, this is where all of the world's best kickboxers come from, the Netherlands. How mad is this? Mad little gym. Underneath one of the towers is a mad little gym. Right, so this is the point here where these estates meet the main strip. Let's go have a look in Bilma shops. This whole building looks like it's made out of a metal fence. Colorbond fencing. Just like going to visit someone in a prison, eh? <laughs> Leave your stuff in the lockers, walk through the metal detector. Oh, look. 
a few of those big towers. Look, they're actually, they're actually pretty massive. There's another massive one there. Right, it's almost dark. It gets dark so early here. Look at the time. 4.55. It's almost dark already. Imagine that. Imagine being somewhere at 4 o'clock something in the Arvo. It's like nearly night time. Oh, these towers are massive. Looks like we're going in here at night then. Even these bottom ones are houses. Like along the bottom there. These aren't common areas. You can look straight into people's lounge rooms. Like I can see someone sitting on the lounge there. That one's boarded up. You can just see in and straight through the house. How can you live with that much exposure into your house, to be honest? Oh, all over there too. Every building, because they love bikes so much, every building just have a garage. Oh, bro, like, like, what is this? Come on, man. Like, look, someone's house. Heaps of more little blocks there. You can see going through would be blocks of all this, lanes of it. Oh, right, look how much there is here. What the f Look how many more there is. Look, oh, that massive one we just walked through, look, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt to get through all of that. Let's keep going. Look at this, right in the middle of it is like an island with a weird statue on it and a pond going around that's the train tracks that we came over this middle part right here as poor this as poor as this area may be this is kind of nice i'm not gonna lie this is kind of nice and cozy you know what i mean we are surrounded by projects but it's nice Seems to be like mad shops underneath um like a mad barber store, local barber store. It's right like underneath the flats there's like active shops, it's mad. I can see a mad gym over there. The one thing that, that shocks me, not much shocks me here. I really like this area, I'm not gonna lie. The one thing that does shock me is the amount of of um units that have been built here like they were really ambitious with their um i wonder when all this i think this place was built in 1960s actually i read that so see here we're right underneath this metro and it's right down the middle of it and we're coming up to the last station here so we've started at that furthest one, got the Bilma in the middle, and we're almost at the end here. And as you can see, we just stuck all onto that other side here of um, the metro. The exact same thing that we walked through, plus more, is all on this side too. We can't walk through it all. I just imagine it would be a mirror image of what's on that side. So whatever we've seen, plus more, then double. Alright, 
Here we are, Gansenhof, that's what it's called. There's more shops here at Gansenhof. And this worst neighborhood, most ghetto part, whatever you want to call that, of Amsterdam, um, is contained between those stations that we just walked through. Looks like there's nice shops here again. Let me say this about this area. I love this area. I think that's a perfect example of just because somewhere is a poor neighborhood, that's the hood of Amsterdam, right? That is the most ghetto it's gonna get. Um, and there are, there must be hundreds of thousands of residents, low income people living there. But what an example of how nice you can keep your hood. Like that's nice, mate. Like, so, uh, you know, round of applause to the residents and maybe the council of this area, not learn, not letting that turn into like a piece of shit area, you know? I, I wouldn't mind living here. That's it. That is uh, Bilma, the worst neighborhood in Amsterdam. I'm going to get a feed here somewhere. I can see somewhere called Gunay Lunchroom. I'm off. That's it. We're into the woods.